I've recently made a video about a time lapse and how you can slow it down and how you should have a different approach to it. You can check it out if you want. But today I want to elaborate on that and talk more about how you can edit the time lapse once it's shot or if you actually want to shoot it because that is also a search topic. So let's just get started with it. So once you have that, once you shoot a time lapse video, if you go to your gallery, you have the edit icon next to your video, but you don't have much. I mean, you have some things that you can modify and change, like, of course, edit, but it mostly applies to the visual side of the video. That is some things like brightness, colors, uh, noise reduction and all other things, which is nice. You can even rotate at the video. But uh, that's about it. Uh, you can also like crop the video, of course, like make it longer, short, shorter, but it's kind of a basic thing. And if you compare it to the uh, slow motion settings of a video in uh, the stock gallery app, there with the slow motion video, you can choose which parts are going to be fast and which are slow, which is nice. But with the time lapse, you, we're doing the opposite thing. We are actually trying to make a video that is long, short. So we're actually speeding up the video. We are increasing the speed, right? We don't have any control over it at all. So this kind of sucks. So instead, I would like to show you an app which you probably already know about. It's CapCut. I talk about it a lot. It's free. It's from the creators of TikTok and it's a great app for video editing. So here are some ideas or things that you can do with the CapCut, but you cannot do in terms of editing in the gallery app. So starting the list with the zooming in and out, and that is that if you simply choose and like select the video on the timeline, you of course open up the app, import the video to the timeline, then you select it. And if you grab it, you can zoom it in, you can zoom it out. This is something that you cannot do in the gallery app. Then you can change the position of the video clip. So you can make it appear in the upper right corner, upper left, or wherever you want. You can play around, you can rotate it with your fingers, you can move it around. It's a really great thing to know and to actually use for editing. By the way, guys, if you are new on this channel, I don't want you to miss future uploads and future videos in which I talk about similar Apple related topics. So subscribe so you won't miss that. So continuing with the things that you can do with CapCut, that includes keyframing. Keyframing is the gradual change of one aspect of a video from one period of time to the other. They can be zooming in, they can be increasing the scale, it, that is for volume, for pretty much anything. More experienced uh, editors know what I'm talking about, but keep in mind that it's this little uh, like square or whatever you want to call it. And you can click it for one period of time and then change some settings some time later. And it's going to change from first numerical value to the next one that you've chosen during that period of time. It's great. And this is how you can use it. For example, if you have a time lapse video, which is about one minute long, you can make the video start with the regular zoom that is the regular size of the video, but towards the end, it's going to be zoomed in. So you choose the keyframes and throughout the video, it's going to be zooming in all the time, constantly. They can be replicated for the opposite effect that is zooming out during the entire length of the video. The same things go for panning, that is from one side to the other. For this, you of course would probably need to zoom a video in a little bit so we don't have like black spaces around uh, in the video. So you're going to go like this and throughout the time the video is going to be zooming in or panning from one side to the other. It can be done however long you want. It doesn't have to be throughout the entire clip. Everything is up to you. You have the control over it. Another aspect of the video, which you can control with CapCut, but she couldn't do with the regular camera app is the length of the clip. But don't get me wrong. We just don't want to crop it. We want to make it shorter or longer by increasing or de decreasing the speed, which is pretty much, of course, uh, the main topic of a previous video, but I'm going to mention it right now as well. So in the CapCut, if you again select the video on the timeline, you have the option to change and modify the speed of it. And you can do whatever you want, of course. 
like you can make it um, if you increase the speed the video is gonna become shorter but faster naturally but if you slow it down on the other hand it's not gonna look very good because you don't have that information in the video because it's already a time lapse and frames have been skipped during the recording so it's not really possible to slow it down of course you can but it's gonna be still some frames or like picture that's gonna be gonna stay on the screen for a longer time it's not gonna look good like I said in my previous video what I would recommend you to do is to record a regular video not in a time-lapse mode in the camera like the completely regular video and then increase the speed to make a time-lapse basically but I go depth in depth in that previous video okay so you can do that like to modify the speed then you can of course mix two videos so you can add multiple layers to that clip you can lower the opacity to about 50 percent or how much you want everything is up to you and you mix two videos pretty much the creativity is up to you the possibilities are endless where you when you have such controls and such features in an app and also you can merge multiple time lapses like you create a one longer video which includes for example the time lapse of a sunset and sunrise or whatever you want like you have lit literally endless possibilities with it everything is up to you and you can control and do whatever you want with it okay so hopefully i helped you with your time lapse at least i hope that i gave you some inspiration some ideas or at least an idea for an app to try out for video editing a time lapse. So that would be pretty much it. This is everything what I wanted to say. There isn't much more what I could add. So thanks a lot for watching and your support. I want to say that I'm grateful for you sticking by all the way to the end. You can also leave a thumbs up. It's going to help me. It's going to make my day, of course, when I see a video that has like many likes. I, of course, am happy about it, that people enjoy the content and find it helpful. So if you want to do that, you are free to do so. So thanks a lot for watching, like I said, and see you guys later.